What it do, YouTube? It's your boy J. Indiana Jones, Mr. J. Indy. Intellect. Uh, today, I uh, wanted to talk about. Um, so I was thinking, hypothetically, quote unquote. And you'd be like, is there a heaven for a gangster, right? I started thinking, uh, what about like celebrity or holo Hollywood retreats, you know? All right. Is Tupac dead? Is Tupac alive? Is, is Nipsey dead? Is Nipsey alive? If they are alive and their character is gone, where are they at? Could they be at this retreat? Could they be on a island? So I started thinking about islands, right? So I went in and looked up abandoned islands. That was one thing I looked up. Uh, another thing, there's just a little information about islands. So it says, uh, there may be as many as a couple million uninhabited islands in the world. The total of all sea, lake, and river islands could be one to two million in all, but 11,000 or so are uninhabited. And then uh, it says Sweden, for instance, counts 200,000 and I mean 221,831 islands within its borders and only 1,145 have people living on them. That's a whole bunch of, that's like 20... 20,000 20,000 more islands that don't even got nobody living on it just in Sweden alone so you're thinking like man these are a bunch of islands so it's not fetch. it's not far-fetched you can say okay some people probably can't even live on them but then when you start looking at the abandoned islands you start understanding that they were used for things at once upon a time a lot of these islands that don't have people on them. I'm not even talking about the islands that even have people on them. And I'm not even talking about the islands that ain't even listed. So that's a whole bunch of islands. So get to talking about some of these abandoned islands real quick. Um, excuse me on my pronunciation uh, on some of them. But I had a link to the video because it was a video I watched. And they, they had like 12 abandoned islands, top 12 abandoned islands. I only wrote down some of them. Uh, you got the Stilt Village of uh, Yukovac. Uh, Yukovac. Uh, it's in Nome, Alaska. Uh, quick notes. Uh, it's half, it was half, it's been abandoned for about half a century now. And the island was kind of made off on a cliff. So you got the sea right there and it's right there on the cliff. So, that's yeah, pretty crazy. And then you got the dry uh, tortugas. That's in Key West, Florida. Uh, they you what it say ship trap crash ships. They it's called the uh, ship trap because there's a lot of crash ships around there. Uh, they abandoned it in 1874 and it was founded in 1513, home of Fort Jefferson. And uh, it also served as a quarantine hospital. A quarantine hospital, bro. That's deep. You got another one here. San Giorgio in Alga. And it's also St. George in the Seaweed. It's in Venice, Italy. And it was abandoned since World War II. You got another island called the, the Sukin Island. Uh, ancient Ruins. It's in Sukan, Sudan. It was uh, started its decaying process in around 1920, so that's probably it's probably been abandoned a few years before 1920, and then you know building started decaying. Then you got the Palavigilia Plague Island. It's a small forbidden island in Venice, Italy. Is plague quarantines? It was a plague quarantine quarantine station in the 18th century and rumor is 50 percent 50 percent of its soil are actual human remains for how many people who died on that island and they also use that one as like a hunted island and people be going there to try to ghost hunt then you got uh one of them called no man's land in nettlestone england it's a, a sea fort turned to a resort eventually uh, and then the story was the guy who invested and had all the money in it and owned it eventually moved there and lived there until he died I guess something like that you look that up 
Then uh, you got uh, Disney's Discovery Island. That closed in 1999, if most of y'all know about it, in Bay Lake, Florida. Uh, and it's off limits now. And people was getting in trouble for going and trying to take pictures of it because, you know, it's like a bandy full of joy. And they, they didn't like that look. But I'm thinking no more of it. So it's a whole island here. What are y'all really doing there? Do y'all got people there? Are y'all hiding something? Is there a lab there? Is what? What's going on? You got something and don't destruct it and then you forbid people from going there and it's still yours. No, nah, bro, you're doing something. That's easy. It's easy to know stuff. You got uh, McNabb's Island and Halifax, Nova Scotia. Let's see, 1780s to about 1934. It was abandoned around World War II and it still got currently three military forts there. And see, that's what I'm saying. You got military bases on islands and stuff. You got laboratories, hospitals that are used to quarantine people. You got all of these things. Probably even got caves and those. You got mountains. You got everything in all these islands. And there's so many different islands out there. A lot of them don't even got nobody on there. Supposedly said it don't. And if it do, it could be secretive because a lot of them forbidden. So they forbidding you. They can have you locked up on this whole island. They can have a prison on the whole island. Nobody even know that the island exists. And if it was an island people knew exists and it was forbidden, you don't know it's there. Man. So there's so much that could be going on. Uh, uh, so uh, my dude to uh, Paradise, California real quick. And over in that area around Chihuahua, uh in Cali, uh, that direct energy uh, weapon, that dude that they had used to start all them forest fires and that uh, laser technology they was using to disintegrate people, you know, and they, they also ran tests like they had fire drills, like the town had fire drills so they could learn how people get out, where they go and how many people that they got to get rid of and all that. And I heard that a lot of the survivors was possibly out like on one of those islands out there or right there off the uh, coast of uh, Cali you know maybe on some ship or on a piece of land taken away from population and then I go back into the celebrity things like Nipsey gone but I'm thinking he might be on an island he might be on one of these islands see they don't have to be used for bad they could be used for good because people like to go on vacations to islands all the time cruises and all of that so you put this in mind as a celebrity somebody with money and they needed to get off the grid they probably already got them to be off of the grid and it's their own little community their own location their own location their own community change their identity they they doing plastic surgery all this stuff now and wait till the transhumanism start <laughs> You ain't nothing but a word to look like somebody to look like something new. All that cloning and stuff they got going. But I know I'm rambling. I'm rambling about a whole bunch of different topics. And I'm really just supposed to be talking about this Hollywood retreat. But you see where I'm going with this, though. You got the whole um, fact and possibilities with the islands. Then people put them in songs. You know, is that heaven for a gangster? You know, that is a heaven for a gangster. You know what I'm saying? A gang star. Gang star, that's a heaven for a gang star, bro. A Hollywood retreat. So that's my take on that. I'm thinking, is it is a such thing as a Hollywood retreat? Cause it's too many possibilities and capabilities for it to be a fact. So I'm taking that at as it is a fact. And I'ma just keep doing more research about it. I'ma look up some more things, more articles, find out more uh, information. And then put two and two together. They they got something they call common sense, but I don't like to mix in with everybody else common sense because I'm not common. <laughs> I'm uncommon. I'm uncommon. So that's that. Hollywood retreat. Look into it. Check out your islands. Learn learn about these things. If you got the opportunity, go visit some of them. You have visited some islands and you know anything, anything cool. It don't matter. It don't got to be on no conspiracy. It could just be some life lesson learning. Leave it in the comment. Let me know about your experience on an island. I'm trying to. I haven't been to an island yet besides uh, where I'm from. <laughs> and it ain't an island, but they call it gangster island. Another word of gangster. Uh, but there's something else.
But you see how everything ties. Your boy J. Indiana Jones. I'm done running. Peace and love. Deuces. Holla at y'all.